do -de -doop -doop -do -de -do. Okay, in uh, this video I'm going to show you how to test your Cadillac Alante window switch. <clears throat> I've already repaired this switch, so we're testing to see if it's working. But it's the same test you would do if you had just taken the switch out of your car. If your windows aren't working, or they work intermittently, nine times out of ten, I'm going to say nine and a half times out of ten, it's going to be the switch because it's a bad design. They didn't put any relays in the, in the switch uh, circuit. They ran all the current for a 30 amp motor through the switch. You get arcing and sparking with a little moisture. You can hear it happen if you're listening to an AM radio station. You push the button, you hear <coughs> and it's the arcing and sparking in the switch that's fouling the contact. So if your windows aren't working, just take the switch out. And this is the easiest way to test it. So, I got my little meter here. I'm going to turn it on. We've got it set for ohms, and I've got it on the little beep uh, section so I can hear it beep when I get a direct short. I take one connector, and I've got just a hardware store spiral pin that'll fit over the pin in the connector, and I clip that on there. <clears throat> On this wiring harness, the red and black is power and ground, <clears throat> pretty much obvious. I want to connect it to the ground. Now what I'm testing for first is the normally closed position of the switch. With a good working switch, in the normally closed position, all of these wires that go to the up and down uh, passenger and driver side will test a short to ground. So let's try that. We'll do the driver's side first. Dead short. Same. 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 So all of the grounds are good. The ground contacts inside the switch are not the ones that usually foul so much. It's the, obviously it's the one that the current's running through that really fouls. So that's, that's the real test. So now I'm going to connect it to the driver's side up and I'm going to move this connector over to the power wire, the red wire. And you can see we have some, we have a partial short. That partial short is the lights in the switch. They use the same power circuit to power those lights and that's what you're seeing. But when you push the button, you should get a complete short. So I'm going to push window up, goes to zero. Move over to window down, goes to zero. Passenger side up, goes to zero. Passenger side down, goes to zero. So this is a good working switch. If you had just taken the switch out of your car to find out if it was good, uh, if you don't get a hard zero ohm short, both on the ground side and the power side, then the, then the inside of the switch is dirty. It looks like this inside. You can see how nasty all those contacts are. This is one that failed and I wasn't able to repair it because this contact is almost completely worn away. So that's how you test your switch. It's the quickest and easiest way. And now this can go back in the car and it'll work the windows.